Okay, so we're gonna continue our spinal hygiene with some neck stretches and range of motion. So really simply, to take care of your neck, you wanna make sure you're moving it through the proper range of motion because motion is life, and if you keep your spine moving and flexible, it'll be healthier. So simply starting, when in these kind of exercises you can do when you wake up, or you could do them in the shower. It's probably the best idea if you do them in the shower um, because you have the hot water running on you and it's nice, it relaxes your muscles. But really what you wanna start out with is just some lateral flexion. So you wanna bend your head to the side and you wanna bend your head to the other side. Okay, so lateral flexion is a stretch, it's a passive stretch when you just bend your ear to your shoulder and you just relax and you, you relax there and you'll feel the weight of your head stretching on your right side. Now what you can do if you wanna add more of a stretch than just the weight of your head is you could take your hand and you could pull down just gently to the side and you really feel a good stretch on that right side in the shoulder and the neck, okay? Then we're gonna come to the other side here and you're gonna add just a little pressure and you could pull. And how long you should hold it for? five to 10 seconds. You don't have to go crazy because overstretching can also hurt you. That's just lateral flexion. If you're doing rotation, you wanna make sure that you're getting rotation as close to the shoulder as possible. And it's an active stretch because you're moving your neck. It's not gravity that's doing it. So you're gonna hold that there this way. And then you're gonna come back to center and then you're gonna turn this way and hold. So I'm using the muscles on the side in the back to stretch the muscles over here when I turn my head to this side, I'm using these muscles behind me to stretch the muscles in the front here. So just holding each stretch for about five to 10 seconds is really great. Now the next thing is going straight down. So if you're standing this way on your side, you wanna bend your head forward and you could just let your head hang. You don't wanna do this kind of thing because that's a slumped posture. But if you have good posture and you just let your head go down this way, you'll feel the normal stretching. Then you could add a little bit more by putting pressure with your hands. And if you have the hot water running on your neck, it's especially nice. Now, in addition to that, we're gonna do, so that was left, right, rotation, rotation, straight down. We're also gonna go 45 degrees forward to the left, 45 degrees forward to the right. So if I turn my head just a bit, so I'm looking over my right foot this way, and I'm just gonna bend my head down that way. And then take your hand, put it on the back of your head, and gently pull. And what that's gonna stretch is gonna be the back opposite side. So many people call it their traps. It's the back opposite side of whatever side you're moving to. So now if I'm moving to the left over here, I'm gonna bend down, put a little pressure, and I'm stretching the back right side. Just a gentle amount of pressure and letting hot water run in your neck, so good. And that's way that you can keep up with your spinal hygiene, keeping your stretches and your neck flexible. It'll also help your adjustments too.